So in the previous video, I showed you how to leave your answers in terms of pi. It could also be that on a non-calculated paper, you could be asked to use an abbreviated form for pi, like pi equals 3. So you could still get the same problem where you're being asked to find the circumference and area of the circle. So for the circumference, remember, it's 2 times pi times r. Um, we've got r is 6, and we're going to use pi as being 3. So 3 is going to be my replacement. So 2 times pi times r, 6. So 2 times 3 times 6 is 6 times 6, that's 36 uh, centimetres. Uh, sorry, it's not in centimetres, it's in metres. Right? So 36 metres. And that is my approximation uh, for the circumference of the circle. For the area, I'd be using pi times r squared. So pi, and remember we're using 3, times r squared, so 6 squared. So I've first got to do the 6 squared, so that's 3 lots of 36. So 3 lots of 36, 3 lots of 30 is 90, 3 6 is 18, so that's 108. And because we're looking at the area, we're in metres for the radius, so metres squared. So you can see that it's really not too troublesome with the calculations. Um, you do really need to remember the area of the circle, the circumference of a circle formulas, and be able to work with them. It, either if it's on a calculator, or if it's in terms of pi, or if you're told that pi is equal to 3, or 3.1, you need to be able to do it with these different variations.